Alrighty, hey guys, I am back for hole number seven of the touchdown tournament, and this is going to focus on uh, part the last part three. It is probably the hardest part three as well. So one of the things that you're going to need here, uh, you're going to want to have your backbone on. Um, adding a little bit of a power ball here. It's going to really make your life easy. This is the one time that, uh, you know, it might be worthy of uh, kind of powering up here. And of course, you notice my, and if you don't have a backbone that has this much power, you're definitely going to need a power ball. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And you'll see what I mean when we get into this hole here. So I am going to put on just a one power ball because I believe... It is your preferred method here to make sure you do not make par on this hole. This is going to be your surefire way to prevent that from happening. So keep that in mind, and that's the reason that uh, we are going to go with. And plus, you know, using a navigator here can restrict some of that wind even farther, giving us that much more of a chance to make the hole in one. Now, one of the things that I just want to note here is we are going to be playing off the fairway, uh, kind of the slopey fairway here, and hitting a backspin shot. So if, for example, you don't have a backbone, and here's what I'm saying about this, you can see that I'm already kind of pushing max as is. So you just want to make sure that you know you free yourself up. And it looks like I might be okay here. Um, but if you don't, see, you, you see, this was all open. And if you use Saturn, if you don't have this much backbone on your backbone, you're going to have to use Saturn. So first, I want you to know that you want to use a lot of this slope. So see how my hops are kind of very left here? You're going to see me play my wind, you know, three rings from this spot, for example. You, you want to play it high intentionally and not put too much curl here because too much curl is actually going to take off some of those high bounces up here. So you want to see that stuff. You see, I just landed a little bit short there. That was actually kind of a disappointing attempt. Um, if you land it just ever so slightly more than that, it kind of lands a lot better. So I really kind of got a bad, a bad break there. That's actually, you know, a little unlucky because I can usually give it a better attempt than that. So, uh, Wow, this is awesome. So I was contemplating hitting this shot for you, but I just want you to know that it is extremely risky, but it is ex extremely risk reward too. So if you are to, uh, you don't have to do this with curl. This is crazy. I can't believe you said not to do it with curl. You can, you can go at that little narrow part with, um, you know, out having to curl that. Like that's no different than just going at it my way. So... Um, I don't recommend doing it with curl there. If you're going to go for that little sliver, go for the spot that's just over the bunker and play um, it pretty straight up. No top spin, no back spin, and just land for the little strip. You can play around with that possibly today. Oh, I didn't mean to make that. I think I can still forfeit. I think I can still forfeit. <clears throat> So you can actually play around with that shot, um, that bunker shot, like I'm mentioning, but I did not actually hit in this video, is you can, um, you know, like I mentioned, you can go for that spec. You're going to need one of the longer irons, you know, B-52, Goliath. You're not going to need any top spin, no back spin, and you just kind of land right over the bunker. To where it's pointed straight at the hole. It's a very narrow target, but with a side wind, you should be able to pull it off and hit that rough patch. And it's going to be a very great risk reward shot for you because it'll give you, you know, I think it ups your hole out percentage probably, probably five times. So let's say you can get it, you know, maybe 2%. My method, you can probably get it, you know, 10 to 20% using the other method which is going to be just setting the pointer right in the narrow strip between the bunker and the hole and then just hitting perfect ball you're going to give yourself a very good hole out chance 
So you're going to need something that has some power to do it. So you might need to put on a Titan ball, but uh, I would recommend, you know, Titan. Like if it was me, I, I would waste, you know, I would save a Kingmaker for that hole or whatever. Titan, something that's going to still have good wind resistance. And I would go for that little sliver, even if I didn't have, you know, a backbone that has quite a bit of distance. And I would go for that shot no matter what, like without question, especially on a side wind. So keep that in mind. Um, but I also provided for you a alternate approach. And like I said, you know, I just kind of got a little unlucky. I landed it ever so slightly short. So when you're setting up your adjustment on yours, make sure you land it probably maybe like a yard or like a yard longer than I did. That's all that I got kind of, you know, a bad bounce where I landed it. So keep that in mind and uh, hopefully you can get that one. So good luck, guys.